Hey, Johannes here. Welcome to my video, Young Padawan of Season of Mastery. Today we will talk about 12 tips in Season of Mastery that I wish I knew from the start in Classic WoW. Let's dive into the video. The first tip, Edge Masters. Do not sell Edge Masters in Season of Mastery. And if you do, do it later on. On my server at the start of Classic WoW, there were 15 up on auction house from 500 to 300 gold. And I had bought one from a guy for 200. I thought, oh, that's a pretty decent deal. I then sold it for 275, thinking I made a ton of profit. And a week later, all those edge masters were gone. And from that point on, they either sold through trade chat for big amounts or on auction house. And they got above the 1k mark fast. The second tip is skill of impending doom in season of mastery. Make sure to get Skill of Impending Doom and never delete it, as it's really good in Battlegrounds, escaping a lot of classes. It is also used in speedruns, and if you vendor or delete it, you will be sad in Season of Mastery. People have re-leveled characters because of this. The third tip, Elemental Earth. Buy a lot of Elemental Earth at the start, between 10 to 30 silver or lower. They spiked to 1 gold fast and eventually were going up 1 gold every few months still capping around at 5 gold. I wish I bought way more than I did before this in Classic WoW. This will change in Season of Mastery though, where I will be buying loads. These are used for a bunch of stuff, but the main thing being is greater nature pots for AQ40 and elemental sharpening stone. There is an increased drop rate, so price may be lower at the start, but these are still good in my opinion, even if there's more elemental earth out there. The fourth tip, dungeon reset trick. If you have two accounts, you can invite your other account's alt and have him reset your dungeon while going offline on your main. What you can also do is make a party with anyone, then have them invite your alt, and then relog to your alt on the main account and reset the dungeon with only one account in Season of Mastery. The fifth tip, level 20 warlocks. Summons were very important in Classic World of Warcraft, and I leveled four warlocks to 20 later on for AQ40 and next summons. Even with no world buffs being in Season of Mastery, it will still be important. I did this as I hosted 9 weekly 40 man raids back then and needed these to summon my team to the raid. They are also used for world boss activity for Ashigos, Kazak and the Green Dragons. Kazak and Ashigos will be out in Phase 2 and the Green Dragons will release in Phase 4 of Season of Mastery. If you're wondering where the Green Dragons are, they spawn in Duskwood, Hinterlands, Feralas and Ashenvale. They all spawn at the same time, so be ready for some competition. They can also help with setting up Quintessence slash Douses summons, so your whole raid can easily get them from Ashara. Going to Ashara takes a whole lot of time, so imagine if you get a summon there now, and it's organized by your guild. At the Water Elemental, or they can also complete quests. Summoning Boosties in Scarlet Monastery if you're playing a mage. Have your buyers click the portal. Who knows, it might still be decent XP in Season of Mastery. And if it is, you can start making gold with those boosts. Do keep in mind though, walking to Scarlet Monastery from Stormwind is going to be a long walk. So make sure you have the Summon Warlock then, so you can summon your boosties. This will make the whole process faster and will end up you saving gold and time. The sixth tip. Stuck somewhere in Season of Mastery while PvP? Try this. You can go to the Blizzard website on Battle.net and claim a unstuck to get away from gankers if you're offline. If you queue up for a BG on an alt account, you will be able to escape PvP as well on your main account. I once got kidnapped by a PvP squad on Razorcore, and they had kidnapped me from the raid, spam mind controlling me, eventually 39 people were waiting for me at Keltusat in Nexramas, waiting for me to enter to raid lead. I used the unstuck website from Blizzard to get hearthstoned while mind control locked, then I got summoned back and tried to go into Nex again. Then they catched me again and I just said, summon my rogue. I went stealth sprinted inside and killed KT on my rogue. I actually ended up buying the KT ring for rogue for 2 or 2.5k as it was a GDKP raid. Make sure to check out my free ebook. It's just a page you can open on the website so you don't end up wasting any time in the wrong guild in Season of Mastery. Let's get back to the video. The seventh tip, water and portals in Season of Mastery. Water and portals are very valuable early. With summoning stones being out, the portals will be needed a bit less, but Season of Mastery Classic is still very big. So try to sell these when you are a mage. Also, always have extra food and water. Anytime you're in Ironforge or Stormwind or any other capital city, try to sell them, advertise it. 
You never know, maybe someone needs a big snack. Water and food can also be combined while eating and drinking. So make a macro that you eat both. And adjust this when you upgrade your skills. The eighth tip. Have two accounts or even three in Season of Mastery. You will get to summon way easier with level 20 warlocks all over the place. And you also have clickers. You will be able to have an alt in a dungeon getting XP while playing on your main or leveling another warlock alt. I myself have raid led raids before while my alt was actually in stockades at the same time. They would PM me on my main and I would tap back and go outside and back in again. Also you can sell your professions and advertise it in trade chat while leveling on your other account. This is how I made a lot of gold with enchanting. In classic you could sell dire mall tribute buffs, that was one of the best gold makers back then. And you needed 2 to 3 accounts for this, as you needed 2 clickers, a warlock and also a hunter. So sometimes 4, but they usually partnered with someone, so they bought the hunter's ID. The ninth tip, weapon skill in Season of Mastery. You can actually level weapon skill in Blasted Lands in Season of Mastery. On the Servant of Grawl Mobs, as they will never die, this is around the Dark Portal. You will take some damage, but just bring some bandages or food and you will survive. This is how I got a ton of weapon skill on my alts, including leveling a fast dagger for veil tanking, as you need fast weapons for main tanking it. So you can build more threat, so the other warriors can pump harder with executes and back then world buffs. You will be spamming your buttons main tanking veil in season mastery once again. The 10th tip, budget hearthstone in season of mastery. If your hearthstone is on cooldown, you can get invited to a group, enter a dungeon like stockades, then leave the group. 60 seconds later, you'll be hearthstoned to your hearthstone location in season of mastery. The 11th tip, a good hearthstone spot in season of mastery. Where you set your hearthstone is where you will be once you use your hearthstone. So try to have your back against the innkeeper, this way you are faster going outside when using your hearthstone. Also be smart where to put it while leveling can save you a ton of time. If you found these tips helpful, give the video a thumbs up. This will help the algorithm push the video to more people. On to the final tip, the 12th tip. Mailbox for storage. You can send mails to alts, they get automatically sent back after 30 days. Then you have another 30 days to collect them before they get deleted. Wish I knew this at the start as it would have saved me some time and gold for investments like Elemental Earth. This opens up storage with not having to buy Mooncloth or Runecloth bags for your bank alts in Season of Mastery. You gotta see this video where I talk about what players do not want you to know in Season of Mastery. Click here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Have a good one.